Welcome back to Let's Play Grand Turismo 4, part 60. So, we're going to we're go by the way. I already started the video, already stumbling over my words. So, we're going to the Supercar Festival for this one. And this event is kind of screwy. So, it says production cars only, 493 brake horsepower or more. But there's a few issues with it. First off, the game cheats and it throws in concept cars, which means the Cadillac Sien, the W12 Nardo concept, and a few other ones. And hardly any of the AI cars are actually over 493 brake horsepower. Which is like, what? So I'm going to do a little bit of an exploit myself in the form of this. I'm gonna go to Nissan Classics and I'm gonna buy the R390 GT1 road car for a whopping million credits. It's expensive, but I wanna drive it and it's cool, so we're going with it. Bada boom. No going back now. And we're gonna go to the Nismo Tune Shop and I'm going to put this thing over the required horsepower, so that's not quite there just yet. So I'm going to buy the Stage 2 Turbo Kit just to get it to the required horsepower rating to actually enter the race. And I don't think I'm going to screw with the tires on this one, too much power for that. As far as everything else, I don't think anything else actually needs to be done to this thing. So that's how we're going to do it to it. We're going to go down here, enter the race. So we have five medium, somewhat long races, single races for this one, starting it off at Seoul for eight laps. All right, hopefully this race is actually winnable for once. But I'm not going to be a masochist. I'm, I'm going to use a stage one turbo. Because screw this. I've retried this race several times and every time has been a failure. So time to easy mode this. My patience has run out. And now we have a seven point race. God damn it. Whatever. No CN or Zonda this time, so hopefully I can actually do something now. Now I gotta worry about my transmission. Because I'm gonna be hitting top speed a lot faster. And you're gonna bonk the inside, aren't you? Nope. Uh oh. Gotta worry about wheel spin now. At least I get to look at this sexy thing for, I would guess, about 50 minutes to an hour. Quite a long series, this one is. My inner Yoda just came out for a second. That was weird. Okay, barely made it around that. That's a really weird turn. You can see how low this thing revs. It's crazy. It just sucks from all these rolling starts that I kind of have to make my car OP just to have a chance of catching up and winning a race. It's quite stupid. Especially for the shorter races. Enduros, screw it, I don't care if it's a rolling start, but... You're gonna see how much further ahead this... Cheater car, because it's a concept car, they're not supposed to be allowed in this... Has pulled away from the rest of the field, and I had to turn this into a 7A spec point race. Just to do that. 
even though it's only the third lap. Also, there's two airplanes on the top of the screen. Hello. That's pretty interesting. This thing is still catching up to me. Jesus. Not anymore. Haha. Uh -huh. Bye bye. That was a little bit spooky. And I'm late on the brace again. Ah. Tried to slide it so I'm at least hitting the wall in the correct direction, but I can't really do that on this game with the e-brake. This isn't Need for Speed with its unrealistic things. And I've already hit top speed. And there he goes. That's what I get for trying to correct something. Let's see if I can actually nail this braking zone for once. Nope. Will it ever happen? Probably not. Also, I'm almost out of nitrous already. Been overusing it a little bit. Oh well. little bit wide. Just a little bit. I kind of like the way this thing drives. Pretty smooth. It's just the RPMs throw me off so much. And it's kind of like, rah! I gotta remember to put the stage two turbo back on before I leave this race. So I don't have to go to a random practice event to put it back on. I know I'm going to forget that at some point. Also, that W12 is on my ass. Now that I don't have nitrous, it's probably slowly catching up to me. We're just keeping up. Okay, four and a half seconds isn't really on my ass, but yeah. It looked like it. And once again.
I definitely have the handling and braking advantage on the rest of these. Because this is a Le Mans road car. A Le Mans. Still a little bit late, but at least I didn't touch the wall for once. Really close right there, my god. Also, hey, this race is finally over. Yay! So yeah, that makes three trouble cars for this series. Fantastic. And two of them are cheaters, so... That's lovely. Anyway, there we go. 15,000 credits for the first race. Definitely gotta do some money grinding after this one. But, yeah. Time for race number two. Alright, time for the second race. We're going to Fuji Speedway 90s. Haven't been here in a while. Something just occurred to me. This car is not suited for top speed, so. Damn it. Uh, and I can't really adjust it. Ah, screw it. I don't know why I'm going to try anyways, but I'm going to try anyways. I'll have a huge advantage on the exits of turns anyways, so... And at least I see him starting at the back of the field. Oh, shit, there's a Zonda 2. <laughs> I didn't notice that. I wonder if it's the same version that caused me issues on the first race. During a... Whatever attempt it was. If this was the 80s circuit, I'd definitely have no chance, but... This is pretty doable. shot of nitrous just to get some distance. Man, already hitting top speed at the end of this. Uh, why didn't I turn in sooner? I was thinking, screw it, I'm just gonna cut the thing, but no. I'm not 10 years old. I should stay on the asphalt. That's where I get all my grip. Genius. And if I'm going to hit top speed, I might as well do it right now. Just try to stay right on the threshold. This is actually going a lot better than I expected. And I got on the throttle too early right there. 
I'm actually pulling a lot further away than I thought, which is nice. That is grass, you fucking idiot. Ay, 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 ay. Can I drive this thing? No, the answer is no. Okay, maybe the Zonda and CN aren't as overpowered as I thought they were because they don't get a massive head start on a standing start instead of like a rolling start where second place is going to hold up the entire field like they do. This is turning to be, or turning out to be a cakewalk. Completely not what I was expected, expecting. Problem is, the horsepower difference between a stage one turbo kit and no turbo kit. If the stage one gave me like 400 flat, then it'd be perfect, I think. But no, it gives me like four, 80 or whatever it was. Turning in too early, like I always do. This is going to be a long event. Championship is going to be even longer by a lot. I'll take out those cones eventually. I think I already did that one, unless it was one of the AI that took that one out. Grass, not good. Fuck it, we're going rallying. I'm bored enough, so... Yeah. I know I'm making the car dirty while doing this. I'll give it a wash after. Okay, that was a complete failure. I believe that is the Zonda and the CN. And I am correct. Ha! Uh, 6.9 seconds! Ha 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 ha! I guess I am a 10 year old after all. Wheel spin, my god. I can't believe I spent a million credits on this thing for just one event. Ugh. That hurts. Then again, I bought 
two cars that are worth 4.5 million, that being the Panos and the GT1, as well as all the Stealth Edition cars. So yeah, who am I to talk? I kind of wanted this thing anyways, just to screw around with it, see what I can do. I wonder if I could put a wing in, on this thing. Probably not. And there I go. They're actually catching up to me because of all my screwing off and everything. And bye-bye! stuff things anyway yeah there's that second race finally complete don't know where we're going to next so yeah 15,000 credits once again bop boom I'm talking to myself time for the next race all right next race we got New York wow it actually let me in even though I didn't change a turbo kit huh I wasn't expecting that. But yeah, uh, rolling start, slow cars up front, let's go. Sleepy, sleepy, sleepy. Going three wide right here. Okay, the uh, Callaway just decided to stop for no reason. Also, that thing is sexy. I was thinking about buying it, but it's not that great. Also, I could have driven my Audi, but kind of don't want to. Okay, the C or uh, whatever that thing is just plowed into the wall. That was funny. And unlike the other Rolling Start races, where the slow cars actually start out front, you actually have a chance of passing everybody. Because they get, or the faster cars get held up. Instead of like, oh, yeah, let's just have all the fast cars start at the front, so they pull away from you, and you have a 10 second disadvantage by the first lap. That sounds like a great idea. One huge downside about Grand Trismo games in general. At least from this game onwards. I'm just gonna use a nitrous, I don't care. It's a six A spec point race. How much more interesting can it get? Zonda's made his way to the front. 
Not like it matters. Uh-oh. That was a little bit spooky. I am really sloppy today, aren't I? Yeah, I got nothing. This video is only halfway over, too, so... Oh shit, I just remembered. I forgot to wash the car. It'd probably be a lot more shiny and pretty. But screw it! You know what? I'm gonna turn this thing on. Just for this race. Cause it's cool. And so I like the fact that y'all won't be bored out of your minds either. Bunk. Hands weren't on the wheel for that, by the way. I just let it do its thing. Tempted to take a pit stop for no reason. But then again, my nitrous is almost out, so probably not a good idea. Uh-oh, I think I'm getting the hiccups. That's no good.
Just driving along. La da 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 da. La da 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 da. I was gonna go to class, but then I got high. Final lap of this incredibly boring race. And finally, this race is over. I barely said anything throughout that whole time, but yeah. So there we have it. Bazinga. 15,000 credits once again for the third race. On to race number four. All right, number four, going to Midfield Raceway. But first, I'm going to take care of this thing because it's kind of annoying. So, yeah. Kind of gets old hitting top speed 24-7. So we're going to do that. And I'm also going to take off the turbo kit for this one, too. So hopefully I'm not nerfing this. Are you fuck? Oh my god. So, I just can't go past that screen if it's not 493 or more. Okay. Yeah. This is so stupid. All right, finally back here. Midfield for six laps. All right, and looks like it's safe to take the turbo off, so that's what I'm going to do. No turbo kit upgrade? I did not tune the transmission. That's probably important. Herp derp. Not like I needed to tune the transmission anyway, so that the turbo's off, but screw it! I'm done rambling about that. Let's just do this. Standing start, finally. Also, it's a reverse layout, okay. I hope this race is semi-interesting. Judging by the a spec points, it's not going to be. Bonk. Thank you. 
Excuse me, sir. Can you get out of my way? Freaking Mercedes drivers, man, I swear. Also, that thing's pulling away. Oh, that's a Tommy Kiara. You won't be getting away from me, Kiara. Or Kyara, or whatever. At least not whenever I shift into maximum overdrive. Okay, I'm done. Also, yeah, that transmission too didn't do anything. I just adjusted the final drive ratio and made the gear shorter. Too short. That's a pretty looking pond back there. Oh shit. I turned in way too soon right there. God damn. Bonk. Oh, I should watch out for that wall. It's not a good place to hit it. Maximum overdrive. And top speed. I raised the top speed by a whopping one mile an hour. Nice tuning by yours truly. Oh my god, okay. I just sent it right there. Also, goodbye. Thing has a really weird sound. I'm really curious what my price car for this event's gonna be, because I have no idea. It'll probably be something stupid. Man, he's really pulling on me. Oh, he's screwing up. So did I, kind of. Oh, he got his knees. Did pretty good right there. There goes uh, Kiara again, or Kyra. 
pronunciation and shit. If only I could go off track up here, that'd be nice. just going to catch up to me right here again. And then he's just going to lose me right here again. Like that. As I not pay attention and do this again. And bonk. And... Oh wait, the, the line's way up here on the reverse course. ACROSS THE LINE! Finally. That race was a lot shorter than New York, so there was that at least. You know the drill. I win money for winning. Woo 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 woo. Two 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 nine six six. All right, time for the final race at Infineon. Finally, Oinke Stoinke. I believe I could leave the Turbo Kit off again, but one thing I am going to do is. Just raise six gear. That's all I really need to change. And there we go. All right, here we go. Rolling start. Slow cars up front. Let's do this. 20 ace pick points. Yay. At least it's a track I'm decent at. Or at least I hope I am. Make my way around the GT. And this yellow thing... Bazinga! Going way outside, but I'm gonna screw off and just do this real quick. Because I felt like it. Okay, thank you. Alright, you're annoying. Bye bye. Dick.
Anyway, yeah, back to racing. I can't believe I just squeezed through that. That was dirty, but kind of cool. So I've been thinking about what endurance event I want to do next, and I don't know. And it's probably going to be the El Capitan 200 mile, because I really want the Minolta. Although I probably won't be using the Minolta in any event, because it's just way too overpowered. I just want it just to drive it around randomly. Why am I turning in so early? Bonk. Let me just do this real quick. That wasn't part of the script. Oh, hello. How dare you ram into me? Or I might do the Laguna Seca 200 mile. Because I do want that... Uh... GT40. That would be a pretty cool thing to have. Don't know what I would use it for. Probably the American Championship, if anything. That's the problem with this game. There's not enough events with race car stuff. And there's so many race cars to choose from, it's like almost impossible to pick something. Which sucks. And there's like one single race event with race car stuff that isn't a championship where I can like use a bunch of different cars, but they'll only be for a single race each, so I don't know. I don't know how I'm going to go about doing that. This car drives really well around this track. I kind of like it. I kind of like this car in general. Still taking this thing because boredom. And you know what? This is probably going to cost me the race, so it might be a little bit stupid, but I'm doing it. Turns out, 
tourist trophy uses those sections of this track. Which is cool. It also uses the chicanes on Suzuka and Sakuba. So they actually do get used for something, just in a different game. That's pretty much a recycle of this game, but with motorcycle stuff. And now, because of me screwing off, without making mistakes, just screwing off, I have to pass this guy again. Bonk. Okay, did that little tap just send him into the grass? Or do, has he been doing that? I don't know. Uh-oh. Don't- Oh, shit! There's still a chance. I still have nitrous. I still have nitrous. We're fine. I hope. Alright, no more goofing off. Time to get serious. Because I did that to myself. Just like that, I've made up most of my time already. As long as I don't screw up, then I got this. And that was a clean pass, but it screwed me up for this. Just pulled the same thing twice in a row. Good thing I didn't hit that curb. If I hit that curb, it probably would have been all over. Goodbye. So long, sucker. Easily gonna be my fastest lap. My last lap was almost my fastest, even though I had that screw up. That's actually kind of surprising. I think it was the last lap that I had it. I don't know. So. Finally, this was a pretty long event, but there we go. Also, I beat that by four seconds. Christ. I mean, like, by best lap, not like getting in front of the GT, but whatever. And that stupid Sietza finished in last. Ha <laughs> ha. That's what you get for bullying me. So, there we have it. Final race of the Supercar Festival, finally complete. Bazinga. Time for a prize car. And our prize for this dang old dinghy is gonna be... Fan-fucking-tastic. I could've sworn I had this thing already, but... All I know is this thing is garbage. Garbage, garbage, garbage car. Probably offending a lot of people who like it based on, like, history or some shit, but... I've driven it on PS2 before, and it sucks. I hate it. I hate everything about it. 
but screw it. Although I could sell for a pretty penny, but I'm not selling prize cars in this LP. At least not original ones. I'm keeping one of everything. I'm selling duplicates, but fuck it. Stay tuned for more Grand Turismo 4.